Solving Complete Columnar. As with most transposition cipher types, Complete Columnar is very easy to solve in software. I have an example Python program available at the Black Chamber Patreon page for Patreons at the appropriate level. If you're using pencil and paper to solve Complete Columnar transposition ciphers, then start by looking at the message length. You want a complete rectangle. For the following cipher, and I'm not going to read this, the length is 72. This could give us 4x18 or 8x9. The Black Chamber guidelines are to use key length times 7 to 16 rows. 18 rows is just outside the guideline, so we'll start with a width of 8 first. Group the cipher in rows of 9 letters. It helps to have a crib, but if we don't, we can just jump to the next step, which is to print the cipher out and cut the paper into strips row-wise. Then try matching the strips together to see which pairs of strips seem to form short English words. For the sake of this example, though, the crib is friends well. This is longer than our key width, which will help a lot. Write the crib in rows of eight. This gives us columns of F, E, R, L, I, L, and then E, N, D, S, W individually. We can expect to find F, E in one row, R, L in another, and I, L in a third, and the rest of our letters in roughly the same locations in the remaining rows. We have I, L in the first row, W in the second, R, L in the third, F, E in the fourth, and then D, S, N, and E in roughly the same location in the remaining columns. Reorder the rows so that two comes first, then four, three, one, eight, seven, five, and six. Note that while all of the other letters and letter pairs start at column two, the W is in column three of line two. This indicates that the crib wraps to the next row, if we rotate the rectangle clockwise, and that line 2 actually belongs above the first pair of the crib, Fe. We can rotate the rectangle here and then read the text off in rows, or we can read the text off in columns right now. Either way, we've reconstructed our key, too. So the key is 24318756, and the plain text is, treat your friends well, you never know when you might need a lift home late at night. TBC X. X is padding to create the full rectangle. I'll also walk through solving two of the practice scripts from the main video comments. First, the easy one. CC1, Einstein on limits. It's 70 letters long, giving us either 5 by 14 or 7 by 10. Both lengths are within the guidelines. Let's see what happens for the smaller width. Divide the text into 14 letter segments. If you don't have a crib, we can try anagramming. For a first pass, I'll just take the first five letters. E-H-D-T-I. The most obvious choice is T-H-E, the, leaving D-I. You should be able to solve this without any further help. Pause here if you want. Rearranging the rows into four, two, one, three, five order and reading the columns off from left to right. We get the difference between stupidity and genius is that genius has its limits. Einstein. Note that the last column gives us Stein which we could have used as part of a probable word attack if we wanted, since Einstein was also in the title. For the second walkthrough, let's jump to the last practice cipher, CC4, Asimov on computers. This one is 105 letters long, with factors of 3, 5, 7, 15, 21, and 35, giving us 3 by 35, 5 by 21, and 7 by 15. Only one of those is within the guidelines, so I'll divide the text into lengths of 15. Using my suggestion above of writing the cipher on paper and cutting the rows into strips, I'll attack this crypt in pieces. O could pair with P, R, T, or F. Let's see what happens for each choice. For 7-1, we're starting out with O, P, 
We get H H Y A O T. Not a lot of promise here. One seven. We have P O H H A Y T O. We've got a couple things. We could use A Y. We could use T O. Going to seven two. We have O T H M Y F O P I T. Couple things we could play with here. Two seven T O M H F Y P O. Not a lot. Seven three O R. H I Y I O E, not a lot. 37 R O I H I Y, again, not too much. 67 F O U H O Y M O, a couple things we could play with here. 76 O F H U Y O O M, now, this is actually pretty promising. The fact that it starts with O F of plus having I S and I N does give us some pretty good choices here. The combinations are all pretty short, but the OF pair does give us IS and IN. Let's build on that. You may already have the solution here, so pause the video and come back when you're done. Otherwise, please bear with me. It's all about the process. Now, we can have POF, OFP, TOF, OFT, TOF, with the other T, and OFT with the second T. 576 gives us a few more tantalizing fragments, like C-O-M, E-N-T, D-A-N, and K-I-N. Although, 762 ends in E-S-T, which we'll come back to later. If we build on T-O-F at the beginning, we want either the R or the A, our only other vowel. So for 4576, we have A-T-O-F, and 3576, we have RTOF. The end letters for 4576, HNES, don't suggest anything, while 3576 gives us ones, which is still promising. Again, with the starting letters RTOF, we want that vowel before RT. The only choice is A. So with rows 43576, ARTOF, at the end we have HONES which could lead to H1s or honest. With just T and P left, the text could start with part of, tart of, art of T, or art of P. There is a company called Art of Play, but we only have the spare T, not an L. Part of T makes more sense, so that's what I'll go with next. Putting the rows in 1, 4, 3, 5, 7, 6 order, we could have focused on the last letters more, since the EST I mentioned above would have led directly to honest. On the other hand, if we only looked at the final letters, we would have gotten honesty, giving us art of TP at the beginning, which makes less sense. Reading off the letters from our segments as is in columns, we get the following. Reformatting with word spaces, we have the key 1435762. Part of the inhumanity of the computer is that once it is completely programmed and working smoothly, it is completely honest. Complete columnar tends to be one of the easiest transposition types to solve by hand, making it perfect for anyone just starting out with cryptograms. I'll leave the remaining two practice ciphers for you to figure out. If you need help, ask in the comments, or consider joining us on Patreon. Link in the description. That's enough for now. See you at the next drop point. Got questions, comments, or suggestions? Leave them in the comments below. Enjoyed this video? Then I encourage you to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel. If you want to show further support, you can join us over at the Black Chamber Patreon page, where you can get access to more how-to videos and PDFs on solving the cipher types covered here, additional crypts to solve, and more. Links pinned in the comments below. See you at the next drop point.